Okay, Nano here. This is uh, July 5th, the day after the 4th of July. And no, I didn't go out and shoot off fireworks. I was responsible. I stayed home in my tiny condo and uh, played computer games, watched a bit of TV, and drank a few beers. So if that's wrong and un-American of me, let me know. I will shoot off some fireworks post-haste. Well, one thing that, that was apparent on the 4th of July, on this day that, that the nation celebrates its freedom from oppression by the British, I believe, 1776 or somewhere around there. The thing that I realize is that we live in a completely divided America. We, On the one side, we have the people that, that like the uh, pursuit of just freedom of choices without the government uh, regulating every step of the way. And the other side, the basically the Democrat or liberal or extreme liberal side that really wants to dabble in Marxism. They really think that if they blow up the government big enough that uh, that they that the, the citizens of America will have free everything basically from cradle to grave. And even the grave, I think they'll even throw in an extra special uh, marching band or something like that when you die. So your grieving relatives can uh, be happy about that. And <laughs> you, know what, you know where I'm going with that. Free. There's no free nothing in this world. Uh, somebody's got to work for some of it. Some people enjoy uh, unfairly more than others. I'll agree with that. But that's a part of the, the joy of having the freedom of choice, of starting out a business failing horribly, picking yourself up, uh, getting out of bankruptcy, and doing it again. And in many, many cases, people have done exactly that, and they've gotten fabulously wealthy and more power to them. America, on the, on the, I guess you call it the right side, on the Republican side, really believes in this freedom of choice. They really believe that uh, you go out, you, you get born, and life is hard, but you happen to live in the, the best country collection of states that give you the best opportunity as a little infant to grow up in a nuclear family with a mom and dad you get some kind of a decent education and off you go okay you pursue a dream and hopefully the United States government is not dogging you every step of the way as it would if you lived in the in the leftist utopian Marxist society. Uh, just you can pick up the phone and call a few citizens, if you can, in uh, the country of China and ask them uh, which would they prefer. Do they like their former government or would they like to come over to the U.S.? And I'll bet you a dollar to a donut that 99% uh, of them would say, oh my God, you mean I have a chance to get to America? I'll take it. You know, it's, it's that simple. All you got to do is pick up the phone. Any of you leftists out there, just go right ahead and do that experiment and get back to me. <clears throat> but don't do it anytime soon because I really don't care. I'm happy that I'm in the U.S. I'm happy that I've enjoyed many, many years, decades of this sort of freedom. And I will fight tooth and nail to, uh, to keep that, uh, that sort of structure going. And I'm unabashed about it. I, I want uh, the society to be pretty much uh, the way Trump envisions it. It's not perfect. You know, you could say you could sit all day and talk about the things that are wrong with the United States of America. But uh, we're still the only country that people are fighting tooth and nail to get to. We're, we are so popular we have to build walls. Okay, you can't say that about uh, places like Uzbekistan or Afghanistan or even China or Russia. Now, neither of those have walls. They'll just shoot you if you try to cross and they, and they see you. They will just shoot you. If, you, if you're caught without papers, you'll end up in a gulag and uh, all sorts of fun things will be done to you by whatever that country's uh, uh, typical pervert is about. So, yeah, America is a good place to be. It's a, it's a fun place to be. And I say that in, in, the, in the meaning that uh, there's a lot of safety nets uh, along the way for any young American, um, accredited young American, not illegal, not semi-legal, 
not, gee, I'm visiting here on a visa and I think I'll just stay. Accredited Americans have just every kind of uh, safety net. They are protected. They are uh, well trained. They can get all the schooling uh, in the world over the internet now. Actually, you don't even really need to go to a college. Everything that you could possibly be taught is available in uh, probably a YouTube video on the internet. So you can just sit there and get real smart. Now, do people do that? No. No, people really just sit on their butts. How do I know that? Because I like to sit on my butt and everyone I know likes to sit on their butt. And so it takes some motivation sometimes to, uh, to get people uh, to do things that are going to improve their, their life in the United States.